All right, so this is Solana, and in this video, we're going to show you how to get a Solana wallet so you can start interacting with the Solana DeFi ecosystem and getting into some of the really cool opportunities. So if you stay at the end, I'll show you three of the best, most interesting opportunities that are actually on Solana right now that are not available on any other blockchain. What's up everyone? This is Evan with Crypto Cash Camp. This is where we focus on making passive income in the DeFi space with the goal of getting a thousand of you to make 50 bucks a day. Passive income, really not that hard. We focus on yield farmly mainly because that's a solid, sustainable way of making money, especially with really solid projects. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, chick, uh, click the subscribe button. Why not? Maybe tap that like button. And uh, if you look in the description, we are launching a mastermind. So anyone who wants to go from zero or has some knowledge into making that 50 bucks a day, we're doing a complete cohort course with all the content you need, support, groups, updated opportunities, everything you need. And there's really nothing else like it in the space. I've looked. <laughs> Anyways, let's just jump into this video. So this is Solana. All of you know, it has a really flashy color and page, and they've had a bunch of VC money dump in. But there's some cool opportunities in the space. But what we need to do is get into it. Like you can buy Solana on Coinbase, but now what? So what we do is we search Solana Wallet on Google. And surprisingly, um, what we're going to do is go to Chrome extension. Instead, we're going to go to, yeah, sorry, this is in Spanish. We're going to go to Home. And we're going to go to Solana wallet there's a lot of them but only one of them works the best and that's Soulflare. and the reason why we like Soulflare is you can connect your ledger to it so i like to have a wallet that you can easily have a ledger or a treasure connect to with no problem so we're going to go ahead and add that extension go over here make sure it comes in there and remember always click that puzzle piece add the little icon and then we're there all right so what we're going to do is set up that wallet remember you probably don't already have a wallet if you do you uh, put in your recovery phrase, but we need a new wallet. But just to show you for a sec, you can also continue with the ledger, which I love. It makes it super easy. So uh, in this case, we're going to just do this. Remember, this is a burner wallet. I'm never using it, but write down your 12 words. Always good to keep them on paper. Write it down two or three times. Store it in different locations, not all at the same house. What if a fire happens? Um, remember, if you have a ledger, you just need that one ledger seed phrase to access all of your different cryptos. So if you're interested in ledger, uh, check for the link in the description. I wouldn't engage in DeFi any other way. All right, so you have saved your passphrase by now. Sure you have. And I just fill them in one by one. Takes a little time, but worth it just to make sure you've done it right. So I think I put the words in right. So we're going to go ahead and press continue. Okay, great. Now we just have a short little password. Remember, this is the password that you use just to log into your wallet very easily just by clicking on it. And that way you don't have to put that giant seed phrase in every single time. We do not need to retweet them on Twitter. Uh, but what we can do is copy our, our contract address. What I love about this wallet is every time you add a coin, it shows up as what's going on. So we can even press that password in. And boom, we have access right here. Zero soul. Time to get some soul. All right, so hopefully you have a Coinbase account because Coinbase allows you to send out Solana on the Solana network. Also, FTX does. They also allow you to send out stable coins like USDC on the Solana network, which is, which is very nice. Uh, maybe even Coinbase would allow you to. I mean, maybe even Crypto.com. I need to check on that, though. In fact, you can even withdraw on uh, Crypto.com. USDC to the Solana chain. But since it's harder to display the phone, we're gonna just go through this way and just buy a little bit here. So it, it's always better if you're gonna bring in a big amount, um, just bring in stable coins if you're gonna get into DeFi. But if you're gonna just, for example, bring some Solana over to stake or something like that, and you've already have it in your Coinbase, you might as well send it over. So I use Coinbase Pro because it's a lot cheaper. It's definitely not the cheapest in the DeFi world. But what I like to do is make sure we have saved our address. We go to address book and make sure we copy this address. Throw it in here. We're going to add the new address. Drop down to Seoul. I mean, it takes a little while to find where Solana is. Throw the address in there, put a name, and then save it. That way you send one or five bucks. If it works, you send your bigger lump sum amount. But what we're going to do right here is go to orders. 
and what we're going to do right now is go to trade and what we're going to buy is a little bit of Solana so L A N A USD and we're going to just buy five bucks worth this is just for a test so we go ahead and go to buy five dollars and it's that quick um, I usually recommend limit orders but um, we're just doing this quick so we're going to go to withdraw then we got to search for Solana and Coinbase so if you don't have Coinbase, I'm sure you can do this. You can do this exact same thing on Binance or Kraken or Gemini. So check that out. Then we're gonna go throw that address in that we just got right here. It's gonna verify that it's the correct Solana address. Use this. We're gonna max out that soul. Oh, we got our other soul. So we're gonna just go. We need to put a minimum. It says down here of 0 0.05. So we're gonna go point. 0 five soul total network fee perfect so I think that'll work because if you did 0 0.04 it probably would work too anyways let's try to withdraw that you no know, you actually probably need 0 0.05 let's just try that withdraw that amount yep that's the right amount so now I initiated the withdrawal and this is lightning quick this is what's so nice about Solana is how fast these transactions happen so if you go down here to withdrawals you'll see that it's still pending uh, but what's surprising that even though it's still pending it'll land over here quite quick okay maybe a little slower than I thought hey if you haven't already please like the video it really helps out the YouTube algorithm and if you have any questions I always answer the comments so throw a little question in the comment section happy to answer that and I'm curious what chains are you using are you Solana Avalanche any of the other EVM chains let me know in the comment section as you can see in the video, we just got those four bucks that got sent over. And now we can do pretty much anything we want with $4 on Solana. But now you know how to do it. So you've got the wallet. You've got the wallet's ability to also connect a ledger, which is amazing. And then now this is the way you interact with different DeFi protocols. So I was going to show you the three really interesting protocols that are going on um, on Solana. I always am a big fan of DeFi Llama. I go to the chains and see what are the top protocols on Solana, so LANA. We're gonna go here, and we're gonna look at all these different, this is a swap, swap. Tulip is one of those very interesting ones. So is Francium, and Fricton. And there's nothing else out like this in, in any of the other worlds of DeFi. So Solana is ahead. As much as some people don't like or do like Solana, they're ahead in some ways of everywhere else. So Tulip allows you to do some interesting stuff. So look, we connected our wallet. Go to Soulflare extension. Allow. Now we're connected. But what this allows you to do with Tulip is, weekly APY, is to do delta neutral staking which is way beyond the, the scope of this video but be able to have a very low risk um, a way when you're using two assets to leverage yield farm and make money and only lose money if if one of the coins drops or gains significantly so look at the risk reward it takes a little bit more brain power to check out these but you're getting 34 percent with solana usdc um, solana ust 40 percent and there's some pretty interesting opportunities in this space. Um, this The same protocol is Francium, which is also very fascinating. And it also has these huge opportunities by doing leveraged yield farming. I don't <laughs> recommend leveraged yield farming just to start. But just want to connect my wallet and show you how to connect these wallets. That's all you do. Now we're connected. We've got our four bucks. And what we can do is look at what is the top APY. So we're seeing this one, the APY is 7,000%, which is pretty astounding. Um, but yeah, there's some other ones with some crazy APYs. Remember, there's a high risk of these high APYs to go down or go down to zero. So if you like Solana and stable coins, that's always a great way, a great place to start. So we've got a Solana, Solana, Solana. So maybe the highest APY, I will find you really quick. All right, so it's staked Solana and USDC. Remember, this is a little bit more complicated on how to get into it. You can borrow two assets, but I might need to make another video about this and how to get the ST soul. 
So this would be interesting, but uh, yeah, definitely a lot of opportunities in the space. Um, yeah, like the video and check the link in the description if you want to get deeper into DeFi and get really into these leverage yield farm opportunities because we're all about low risk, no loss of capital, and making good passive income on your money. All right, with that, I will see you guys in the next video.